Welcome to Billy Visuals, where we're all about visuals. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Adidas Avern, a model that launched this year. If you're a person who wants to get into the juicy details right away, you can check out my YouTube shorts for the three pros and three cons video on this shoe. Otherwise, stay tuned for a full review or experience I had with this Adidas Avern. Right off the bat, this sneaker is not meant for casual walking or lounging. It is meant for those who are looking for a sneaker that will help them find stability and comfort at the gym. This sneaker costs $140 USD or $180 Canadian, and I would not buy this shoe if it is at this price point. I would honestly wait for a sale. A gripe I have with Adidas is that it fluctuates in terms of sizing, and this sneaker is not made true to size, so that means you have to buy half size down. And this really frustrates me because it makes it difficult for those who don't know not to buy true to size, and when they do get the shoe in hand, they realize, oh no, I have to wait for shipping again and ship back the old shoe back to Adidas. It just makes it very difficult for the whole online shopping process. The Adidas Avern is lightweight and durable, and you also have the bounce and boost technologies in a hybrid cushioning system for the midsole. For those who don't know, the bounce technology is a very forgiving material that allows you to shape your foot as you walk. However, it is a little bit more stable and harder than the boost material. The boost material is much softer, however, it is also very bouncy, which can lead to foot fatigue or instability. So with the bounce holding the boost in a cage, it allows the bounce to stabilize the boost, giving you that extra stability for when you need it and then the extra energy for when you really push down on your foot. The one thing that really takes me away from the shoe is the overall upper design. It is very generic, and although it does have a unique pull tab at the heel, the three stripes design is very underwhelming, but at least it is subtle. The upper itself is also not breathable, but it is durable because it is using ripstop, so you won't really easily cut through it. Overall, if you're looking for a hybrid cushioning system for stable walking, crossfit, and lifting, then this is a sneaker for you. If you watched my video this far, you must like my content, so hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and let me know in the comments down below what you think about this sneaker. I would love to hear from you. This has been Billy Visuals. Y'all just got visualized, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.